In this video, I wanna show you how you can use variables within your DAX calculations in Power BI. We're gonna go through what they are and why you should be using them in the first place. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's go through this demo that I prepared for you today. It's a very simple orders table that I've generated uh, earlier this morning and it only has three entries here. So it has different products, their quantities and unit price. I created two measures in advance here. So I created sales measure, which just calculates the sales of each of these products by multiplying the order quantity and unit price. And then another measure which calculates the percentage of the sales against the total amount. So what it contributes to the total number of sales. So now let's bring in the percent sales measure into the table here and actually let's try to convert this into a percentage so you'll see that you know to calculate the percentage of sales is quite simple it's really just dividing the sales by the total so 3 divided by 29.6 which gives you the 10% for bread and vice versa vice versa however if you look at the DAX formula here, the calculation here is quite difficult to understand what's going on. And if you work with DAX calculations before, this probably will make sense to you, uh, but it will take you a long time to you know, try to unpick what's going on here, uh, even though the actual calculation of the percentage of sales is literally just sales divided by total sales. And this is when you should be using variables to make this DAX code a lot more readable. So to keep it simple, just think of variables as containers where you can and put in uh, results of single values or values within a table. The point of the variables is that you can store the results in these variables so you can reference them in the future to avoid rewriting the script altogether, improving the readability of your code. So let me demonstrate to you how that looks like. So before we write any variables, let's try to break down this uh, code that we have here for the percentage of sales. So what we have, we uh, wrapped everything in a divide and so here's the function here. And the divide asks for two things, the numerator and the denominator. So the numerator is just the number of sales that we have for the current row context, which uh, is for each one of these bread, flour, or milk. This, these are the sales, this is what we're getting. And that calculation is um, here. So this is that part of that calculation. So it gives, does the sum quantity multiplied by unit price. The second part, which is the getting the total number of sales for each of the, uh, for, for the total, is actually this part. Uh, and I covered this in my previous video, but what we have done here, we've used the all selected, which makes sure that we are always getting the total number of sales, uh, regardless of what filter context is applied to our table. So there's two parts when creating and using variables in DAX. So the first is you need to declare your variables and then you need to create a return which is what you are returning the value for your measure. So let's do those two things. So first let's declare our variables and before we do that let's I'm going to do a dash dash here which just comments out this uh, this previous code that we have here. You'll see that it's changed as green which means that it's commented out so it's not getting calculated and it's being treated as uh, nothing by the by our DAX. So let's start by writing our variable. So we type var and then we name our variable. So let's say we want to create a one variable called sales and you'll see that the sales it has a different coloring which shows that it's a variable type of uh, element within our DAX. Now let's type the value that we want here. So we just want to show the sales here in our variable. So let's copy that bit of script that we have here. So this will act as our numerator. And then what I'll do, we'll also create another variable here, which I will do total sales. 
And pay attention, I'm adding a underscore at the very front of the variables. You don't really need to do this. Um, and it's just a way for me to know uh, when I'm referencing in the future is a variable. But you can tell the same thing by just looking at the colors. So you don't really need to do it. So now the total sales, uh, again, what we want to do is just get the total sales from our code here. So it's the calculate part. Now that we've done that, we've declared our variables. Now we need to create a return here. So we want to return what value. So in our return, we want to do uh, divide. But now instead of writing all of those down, we just uh, write the, num the, the name of our, um, of our variable. So you'll see that as I type writing sales, you'll see that it uh, shows up here in the IntelliSense and you'll know that it's a variable because you can see the X, Y right at the front there. And then the denominator will put total sales like before. Let's close that and then hit enter. And now it gives you the exact same result, except that it's a lot more readable this time, right? So you can tell that you're dividing the sales and the total sales in order to get the percentage of sales for this measure. So I'm just gonna delete this comment here just so that we don't have to look at it anymore. And now we just have the variables and our returns. Another reason why you should be using variables is to make your life a lot easier when you're debugging your measures. So for example, something goes wrong with your measure and you don't know exactly where the problem is so it means you have to copy and paste multiple nested calculations within your measures or paste it in a different measure or it may be a bit too difficult if you have a very complex measure that you've created however with variables it means that you can compartmentalize your analysis so it means that you can just have a look at the variable values and see where the problem lies so let me show you how that looks like so for example let's say there is a problem with our total sales we don't know what this total sales value shows and typically what you do, you'd copy the total sales uh, calculation from your DAX. You'll have to paste it on a different measure. But if you have the variable set up here, all you need to do is put it in the return. So we'll just comment out the divide here and then replace it with total sales just to show us what the total sales actually shows for each of these rows. I'm just going to change it temporarily into a decimal number so we can see. And you'll see that it previews you all the values that the total sales does for every single row, which is really handy. And you didn't have to do anything else but comment out the return and put the variable that you want to analyze. And that's really it for this one. I hope this short video helped you understand how easy it is to start using variables within your DAX calculations in Power BI. Leave a like on this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again on the next one.